What's really kind of interesting about these trials, though, is that the trials included both stage two and stage three patients. And for stage two patients, induction chemotherapy prior to resection has not been the standard of care. Most of those patients start with surgery and then go on to receive adjuvant chemotherapy. So I do believe that the stakes about safety, efficacy, delays, and attrition are much, much higher in that population where surgery has really been the key to their survival and their cure rates, and then you don't really want people to progress or get lost or fall off the treatment path if they really need to get to surgery. So I think that's really what's gonna be the most interesting as this data matures down the road is will we see differences in stage two and stage three, and will the excitement over immunotherapy still keep us uh, engaging both of those populations?